Did you know that there is $1 billion, one billion dollars of Australian government funding going into a fire ant eradication program which has been killing all sorts of animals, cats, dogs, cattle, horses, bees, insects, birds, all getting killed by this fire ant eradication program. Now, do not be bullied. Uh, there are many things you can do to stop the government workers coming onto your property, these fire ant sprayers, to stop them coming onto your property. Now, to be exempt from the toxic fire ant program, all you have to do is to let the people who want to come on to your property to spray it, let them know that you have a reasonable excuse and tell them to leave. Now, it's up to them if they want to take you to court to escalate the issue. Now, there are lots of reasonable excuses, and here are a few for you. Now, firstly, that there's no evidence that fire ants exist on your property, and these insecticides should only be used where there are fire ants. So you could ask where the fire ant nest is, right, for people that want to come onto your property. The property has indigenous blue-banded bees and indigenous ants on the property, and insects and ha are, insecticides are harmful to them. ABC and Channel 9 reports show that these poisons have injured or killed dogs, bees, birds, cows and horses. That you haven't received an environmental impact study or risk assessment on the effects of these insecticides on your property. And distributions of pesticides and poison over your property doesn't align with the management practices of your operation. So they're just a few things you can say. I'm going to put a script underneath this video here. I recommend to share this around. Do not let these, this poison come onto your land. Now, I do believe that they're also, have got helicopters that they're going over people's properties uh, and you can actually fly kites, okay? Some people are flying kites above their properties so as not to let uh, this toxic uh, spray to go onto their land. It is affecting also, the, it's getting into people's water tanks. Uh, it's, it's a really, really concerning issue and people need to stand up, they need to become aware and you need to say no uh, to not allow it. If you don't want to personally get sick or want your animals to get sick or potentially killed, uh, then do something about it, stand up about it now. Uh, if you're not standing up around these kind of things, you are being part of the problem. And so here is to coming together to get empowered. Uh, look up hashtag Save the Bees. Uh, Save the Bees Australia is the charity that we are raising funds for this year with the Animal Action Night for Bees that we're putting together coming up in the next few months. And this is where I've been learning all about this. It's absolutely atrocious what is going on. We need to step up. We need to speak up. Uh, check out Save the Bees Australia and check out uh, the comments for the script that I'll give you here as well. There's lots of good content on their uh, Instagram page as well. So Save the Bees Australia on Instagram. Check it out and check out some of the content in there. So there's some cool groups as well going around on Facebook that are empowering people as well uh, about all of this. So with the information, you can go out and you can make some informed decisions. Don't be bullied and don't let the government poison your property and your animals and the environment. Okay, let's be the change we want to see in the world, as Gandhi says. I'm Aldwin, and I look forward to hearing from you. Any of your comments pop in the chat here. What your thoughts are on the Fire Ant Eradication Program. That is $10 million going to this advertising campaign to, uh, to basically back up what they're doing. Um, and so really it's time for us to step up, speak up, stand up and make a difference and stop these atrocities from going on. Thanks for watching. Share the love. Thank you.